Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, graph this equation in standard form. Um, and to do that, what I'm going to do is use uh, standard. Actually, I am not going to use standard form um, because uh, you'll be able, or I'm sorry, not use intercept form, because when I do that, you'll be able to see uh, where some examples may rise if I was going to use standard form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use slope intercept form, where y equals mx plus b. And I like using standard uh, y-intercept form because then I can identify what is the slope as well as to what is the y-intercept. So to identify that, I need to solve for y. I need to get y by itself so it's in that format. So I'll add a 2x to both sides. Now I have 8y is equal to 2x. Now to solve for y, I undo multiplying by 8, so I divide by 8. So y equals 2 eighths um, simplified is going to be 1 fourth x. Now, What's helpful about this is the reason why I decided not to do intercepts is because what I want you guys to understand is the, the x and the y intercept both are going to equal 0. So that means th the graph is going to cross at 0, 0. So it would be impossible for me to be able to identify how, what the shape of the graph is just going off the intercepts, especially if those intercepts are shared. So um, in this case, though, you can see that my b, I don't have a b. So therefore, that's how I know, again, that my y intercept is at 0. So my y-intercept is at the coordinate point 0, 0, because I do not have a y-intercept here. Now I'm going to use the slope to identify my next point. Remember, slope is equal to 1 fourth. So that means the change in the y values over the change in the x values of any two points. A lot of times we also say rise over run. So that if the change in the y values is a positive 1, that means I can go up one unit from my y-intercept. And since the change in the x values is positive 4, I'm going to go over four units. Uh, for my x values. Then I just follow my slope triangle up 1 over 4, and I connect those two points. Positive 1 fourth is the same as negative, um, negative 1 divided by negative 4, which means I could also go down 1 and to the left 4, and I'd still remain on my same line. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a line when you have the y-intercept at the origin. Thanks.